So today's video is going to be all about the chimney on this wood cut stove. I'll show you how it all goes together. Last time we uh, baked with it as we started the fire. It was smoking. Several people thought that chimney's got to be plugged. So we'll check that chimney while we have it apart. All right. So first off, and I'll get some light on here, we have the lower bell, and this is a 7 inch to fit the stove, and then a 6 inch to fit the chimney. This is a standard configuration. The reason they made that an oval is it took up less room between the stove and the wall, being an oval, and it would still carry the same volume of smoke. As you can see, the barcode has even got hot enough on this chimney through baking bread and pies and turkeys and everything else I've baked with it. Just hasn't got hot enough to burn off. And I believe that's because I use maple, alder, and wild cherry for my wood. Hardly ever does a stove see pine. And as we go up, we have our chimney flue. And it doesn't stick, doesn't feel like there's anything there. We'll take it apart and take a look. As we go up, you can see all the male parts drop into the female parts of the stove. You can see the screws up here holding everything together. That's required by code. And then it goes through a wall jack. Going into the wall jack and coming out of the wall jack, you put a male pipe into both ends. So here it would be an odd pipe you have to make. So I made the male end on this short piece of pipe and then screwed it together. So we'll go ahead and pop this apart. I've got it on the back side here so you can see what's going on. We're going to pop it out of the uh, wall jack there we go. Yeah, them up there. They're complaining. But take a look. Is there anything in there? I can't see from here. So, as you can see, inside the pipe, there's very little buildup. Of course, there's only been about, oh, I'd say 60 fires in this uh, stove since I put the chimney in. But it's staying nice and clean. We don't have an issue with any buildup. So, all that smoke that you see when I'm lighting the stove up, that's only because the stove is cold. So we're going to put you up here and take a look inside. You see anything? I can't see anything. Not from here. You got to report back to me though. From what I can see on the screen, it looks pretty clean. So we'll go back and look where the chimney comes out of the bottom of the stove. And as you can see here, there's an oval, and this little bit of ash has been building up over years. There is a little bit of soot right there where the pipe comes out, which I would expect. And you do see it is a 7-inch oval. That's why you need that 7-inch oval pipe to a 6-inch chimney pipe. So, like I say, that bell on the bottom, it is a female to female, which is normal. That's the way they're sold. It's nothing special. And if your pipe comes round at the 7-inch portion of the bell, you just squish it to a oval and set it over the stove, and it'll fit on. That's the way they're made to work. So I got back here, 
so you can see how we put it all back together. I'm just going to drop it on the stove on that 7 inch adapter. Move it into place. Squish it a little bit so it's right on. And then I need a ladder. One second, please. All right, I got the step still in here. I tell you, the things I do so you can get the view. I know you wanted me to check outside too, so I've opened up the bottom cap here, and you can see all the way up to the top where the light is. So don't have any bees nests bird nests anything else inside the pipe so we should be good to go got to check those things every once in a while though so as you can see the stove pipe is up above the roof at the recommended distance above and I do have a metal roof so if sparks were to land on the metal roof they just land on the metal roof is all and all good so just like coca Paley would say it's all good